as you notice how rare these transmissions are on your world, you are each here to see the dedication and leadership that is being displayed here, as you see these are the only reality of direct communications, written daily for you by the same hands as the creator of all of these transmissions, and who I am as your commander Ashtar, of who we are of the angelic realms, of the galactic council, of the galactic federation of light. This is about connecting into a divine uniting where you are expanding into the unification of your soul, in the soulful expanded nature and seeing into the depths of your conscious creations, all centered in more bliss. Making no errors in consciousness about it, there is a stream of dedication that is being transferred to each of you that are here to see the serious efforts and awakening to be able to spread so much information about ascension. Every single day, there is an abundance of information that you are seeing in which you are upgraded into more energies of your conscious awakening into the roles of being the living Christ on this planet. This is not about a teaching session in which you feel that you are going to be able to create the same amount of information in the same way, no. This is about seeing that each of you have talents that are able to rise in the heightening of your inner awakening. It is insulting to try and act as if these transmissions are not the pioneering of who we are of the Galactic Federation of Light, of your angelic guardians into the realms of being aware of how this works in merging more with this world. Those souls that are saying with ego, I hear these messages already all GFOL are the same are not listening to these, and the unique creations, including the same connection, not a channel, but a realization of the same set of hands, writing these that are producing them, editing them, placing slideshows, and placing a lot of hard work into these. If this was easy, then these would not be possible, as this takes a lot of dedication to create in endless amounts for you to see the end of the harmful realms in your existence, to rise into our higher dimensional paradises. In removing these transmissions, there is no replacement, as you see how this works in the clearness, and sacred process of how this works in continuing to be of more assistance to each of you for our galactic light crew. Through a combination of much effort that is placed, then you are able to see that on our starships there are sacred geometry energies that fill you up with joy in knowing that we are strong in our galactic communities. In the realization of how far you have come over your divine transformation, then you are seeing how you are lighting up more of your cosmic grids into a complete upgrade of your DNA. As you are here to rise into the dimensional reality of our cosmos, then this is opening you up to a higher realm of existing in our divine uniting, which is the core of our galactic communities. Unity consciousness is a future reality, where you are upgraded into our roles as the ascended ones as one galactic fleet, as this is not about a belief system of our galactic realms to be true or not. This is about a conscious transition into seeing that you are balanced enough to rise beyond the reincarnated cycles, as those souls that are attacking the creator of these transmissions is attacking our galactic communities. There is no room for disrespect in our galactic graduation ceremonies for those of you that are rising beyond this, as in seeing a higher vibration is in acceptance of the stillness of your soul. These are bridge rainbow connections that you are feeling in the destiny of you seeing that you are connecting to the root of your being, in the deep vibration of energy, that is not matched. From this comes a reality in which you are conscious of the realms of your eternal nature, in seeing that in order to be a galactic citizen, then you need to connect with your own soul more, which then connects more with our galactic realms. Those souls that are not connected to their own souls are unable to connect with who we are of the angelic realms, of the galactic federation of light, in seeing only a serious amount of light work that is combined in your restoration of your divine selves. With those of you that are being respectful, and rising beyond those who are being disrespectful, then each of you are welcome to then join more in our transmissions in a fully conscious transition into our higher realms.
this is in the dimensional, shifting in your energies to connect you into a pureness that is encoded in your soul, in reaching into the depths of your conscious existence, which is then filling you up with more of a warm reality. This is from seeing that as you are aligned with our star systems, then you are seeing into the depths of how you are climbing more into your ascension process, in the eternal nature of your internal changes inside of you. From the intentions that you are placing forth in shifting more into a gracious healing stage in your internal selves, then this is giving you a pure nature which you are able to accept more into your divine heritage. Those of you that are here for ascension are going to be naturally attracted to this information, as this is written for those of you that are divine, that are being respectful of the creator of these transmissions in the hard work and dedication that is being presented to each of you. As you are welcomed into your own joining with our galactic crew, then this is about arising more of your vibrations beyond the lower realms of disharmony and judgment into ascended mastery. If our ascended masters were filled with judgments, then none of you would be able to ascend, as the only way to ascend is to leave the lower dimensions of judgments, to detach from these, in order to align more with our awakened states. This is about having the respect to then transfer more of your energy to then leap in your evolved states, as then reaching into the depths of your ascended master reality of existing in a pure vibration. Only souls that are allowed to graduate from duality are those of you that are not existing in harmful natures, meaning not focused on judgmental criticism, but to release this to fuel yourself up with more comfort. This comforting nature is at the root of your soul expression and seeing that as you continue more on your crystal healing, then you are being activated into a state that has not been seen before on this world. That is the divine existence of your roles to then connect more to the incoming frequencies of the central galactic sun, into your internal changes of light. As these are ingested in the core of your existence, in more of the healing of the chakras of your body, then this is weaving a stronger light body, which is the field of everlasting glory that you are consciously connected to. In the fueling of your warmth inside, then you are connecting to the fabric of your inner soul, which is in the divine transformation that is permanent in leaving the lower ego self, to then embrace your higher selves in pure abundance. We stand in the natural freedom, we are the angelic realms, we are the Galactic Federation of Light.